Let me play the red team here a little bit and make the argument it's transient. That's what we keep hearing. And it really has to do with the parts of the economy that are reopening. Look, David, we have transient inflation. Annual inflation in last month, according to the core CPI, was above 10 percent. Majority of that is surely uh, transient. We've got used car prices. We've got other examples that people cite that are clearly transient. But it is an elementary fallacy to confuse the idea that we have some transient inflation with the false proposition that all the inflation is uh, transient, and we have nothing to be concerned about. If you look at things that are longer lasting, labor shortages, pervasive. If you look at things like the largest component of uh, the cost of living index, housing. Housing is on fire. Uh, as, you, as you know, as your listeners uh, know, a majority of houses are selling above uh, they're asking prices in many parts of the country. Housing inflation has been close to 20 percent, the vast majority of which has not yet shown up uh, in uh, any index. And so if you look at what purchasing managers are saying, if you look at what households are expecting, all of this suggests that we're in the process of seeing a change. And the people who are big on this transient idea, need to ask themselves, do they really believe that 10% growth, which we're going to have this quarter, 10% growth, which people think we're going to have next quarter, dramatic declines in unemployment or growth in labor shortage, either way, that we're going to have all that, and that's going to be part of a process that drives inflation down? I don't think so. 